Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of the US chip ban to China and Chinese EDA. After the United States imposed relevant restrictions on China, it has become very difficult for Chinese companies to obtain chips. The latest restriction rules have been given. The United States is trying to upgrade the scope of restrictions to 4G, Wi-Fi, high-performance computers, etc., which means completely blocking the cooperation between U.S. company suppliers and Huawei. Therefore, the problem of chip supply has become a relatively heavy topic. The current silicon-based materials used in electronic chips are developed by American companies, and the many patents they own have also made this field monopoly airtight. The core technology, it has never been open to Chinese companies. Any technology has to be self-developed, which has also led to an abnormally slow process of the entire semiconductor industry in China. Before that, they used the dimensionality reduction strike method. Once a breakthrough in domestic technology is achieved, they will provide a higher level of technology to the country. We, naturally, Chinese companies will choose more advanced technologies. Chinese enterprises have always had the idea that direct purchase is not as good as machine manufacturing and direct purchase is not as good as direct leasing, which directly hits the self-confidence of domestic technology. Until the implementation of the chip rules, all this began to change. Huawei's experience of being completely cut off made Chinese companies start to be wary of the development of dependence. After the popularization of the concept of independence, China's semiconductor industry has ushered in an all-round development in the past three years. Recently, Huada Jiuqian officially announced good news. Its self-developed EDA design software has passed Samsung's 14 nanometers and 8 nanometers production capacity verification. Have you got rid of your dependence on Europe and the United States? Chinese company officials announce new breakthroughs. The manufacture of chips is a complex process that requires the assembly of the world's top technologies. At this stage, the EUV lithography machine is most often mentioned. The reason is that only ASML can manufacture it, and it needs to combine hundreds of thousands of parts from more than 20 countries. Components, not to mention the large number of technical patents involved. Therefore, breakthroughs in all technologies are very difficult for the country, and even if they can be realized, it will take a lot of time, and it happens that we cannot afford to wait for this time. Relying on the technical system, mastering the absolute core technology, there is hope for the support of the international supply chain. At present, there has been good news in this regard. Harbin Institute of Technology once again broke through the high-speed ultra-precision laser interferometer technology, which has been proven to be applied to the integrated development and performance testing of lithography machine prototypes between 350 nanometers to 28 nanometers processes. This is already the third great contribution made by Harbin Institute of Technology. Previously, it also broke through the EUV light source technology, which has achieved the same level as ASML. He has made outstanding contributions and successive breakthroughs in core technologies. Cooperating with previously breakthrough technologies, such as light sources, and double workpiece tables, a relatively complete independent system has been formed. After the integration of the supply chain, 
domestic EUV lithography machines have a chance to be born. The latest breakthrough, high-speed ultra-precision laser interferometer technology, is mainly for measurement problems in the field of high-end equipment. Both the accuracy and accuracy of lasers need to be used. It is the core application technology of EUV lithography machines. It has been passed down a long time ago. There are corresponding signs, and now the latest achievements of Harbin Institute of Technology mean that this technology has achieved a breakthrough. In addition to lithography equipment, EDA software for chip R&D and design is also monopolized during the entire core making process. The function of this software is quite complicated and it needs to design tens of billions of transistors in a fingernail sized chip. In terms of size, this software is equivalent to the beginning of the chip and is also known as the mother of the chip. At present, this software is no longer authorized to Chinese companies. Given that Huawei has 5 nanometers chip design capabilities, the United States has also begun to be vigilant, and then even the EDA software required for process design below 3 nanometers has also been cut off. The design software required for the latest Gaffet Structural Integrated Circuit is enough to show that the actual development of Chinese companies has made Western countries fearful. Good news came on February 10th. The domestic EDA software manufacturer, Wada, Zhou Qian, officially announced the self-developed SPI circuit simulation tool Empiron ALPS has passed the Samsung Semiconductor EDA tool certification in 2021. Safe CADA certification process and breakthroughs in process support to 14 nanometers and 8 nanometers levels. In addition, Huada Jiuqian also mentioned a key message, that is, some digital tools can already support up to the 5 nanometers level, and the comprehensive commercialization process is already advancing. To put it simply, Domestic EDA software can already support up to 5 nanometers. The development of 8 nanometers chips has also laid the foundation for localized chips. Can China get rid of its dependence on European and American technology? According to public reports, the three American companies, Synopsys, Mentor, and Cadence, have exceeded 85% of the EDA market share, which can be said to be close to the monopoly level. Previously, Huawei was able to design 5 nanometers chips because it used the authorization of Synopsys. It's basically a suspension of authorization. It is precisely because of this that China has accelerated the pace of self-research. The current Huada Jiuqian has broken through the 8 nanometers bottleneck. After resource integration, it is enough to meet the current domestic demand. Although it is not enough to compare with the three American companies, but obviously, it can meet the design requirements of mature technology. As long as it is a technology that is stuck by American companies, there must be no slack in the country. The importance of EDA software is greater than the foundation of a house. If the foundation is not laid well, it will lose everything. This is this the reason why it is called the mother of chips. The United States insists on continuously upgrading the chip rules, and we have only one way to go which is to do our best to realize the autonomy of technology. Maybe we have to thank the relevant restrictions, because it has completely made Chinese people understand that Western countries and companies are unreliable. What do you think about this?